In this video, we will be comparing the Pocket 4K to the Red Scarlet Dragon. Now the first test we are looking at is a dark scene test along with a fake moonlight test. I really wanted to see how well these cameras handle darkness for low key scenes and I have been dying to learn how to get that perfect fake blue moonlight so I have been messing around with that a little bit. Now for the Red Dragon, I was advised by the comments on my YouTube to use IPP2 because it's technically better than Red Gamma 4. Now setting the cameras to the same exact settings of ISO 400, aperture 2.8 and shutter speed of 140th, the Pocket 4K captures more light. So I raised the ISO of the Red Scarlet Dragon to 640 in post. For the Pocket 4K, you are looking at the extended video LUT that comes with the camera and DaVinci Resolve. Looking at the side by side, you can see the difference of the crop factor between the two. The Pocket 4K does not have a speed booster by the way, so it doesn't have a reduced crop factor, you're seeing it as is. Now this shot, I wanted to raise the ISO of the Red Dragon to 640 natively in camera instead of doing it in post because some people prefer it that way. Lastly, as usual, I do my four stops underexposed on both cameras and then crank up the exposure to recover to see what I can get. Now overall, the Red Dragon is definitely less sharper since there's absolutely no sharpening done in camera. You have to do it in post. Now the Red Dragon additionally has more noise as well since it definitely needs a lot more light. You know, having a Red Dragon is really, really making me realize why big companies and professionals are using such big lights. I actually thought it was such an overkill before why they're using 18Ks and M18 uh, HMIs and now now I'm starting to understand how freaking light starved cinema cameras are.